Hey everybody. <laughs> How you doing? Um, let's see. Getting on right now. One second. All right, we should be on. All right, I see it. Okay. All right. Um, I haven't been on for a while. Um, you know, I've been busy. I've been working on a couple of things which I'll talk about in the next few weeks. And um, today I want to talk about, um, I had a, I had to go for a test. Um, let's see. I had to go for a test today and it was um, a heart test, not, not nothing with the cancer. And well, before we start, let's see. Let's go back. Um, anybody who's on, you know, on the Facebook group, um, if you're on, you know, drop a like and please, you know, just post, uh, um, you know, that you're on on the live. All right. Um, yeah. So today I had a, I had a, um, a stress test, and I've had a bunch of different stress tests because of you know my transplant. So it's a stress test on my heart. Um, I thought it was going to be a uh, dobutamine stress test uh, with an echo, but it it wasn't. They did a different kind. I don't really know the the kind that it was, but I just never had it before. And it's one of those tests that they um, they cover. They it's not like an MRI or a CT scan or anything, but it's it's something that they cover you. Um, like the length of your you know your chest area and and then it like it's really tight like not not touching you but like really like close to you and then it's just you're supposed to stay still for like 15 minutes and then they they give you an IV and they make you they they do some solution to like um so they could get a better picture of your heart um for the most part, I don't get, <laughs> I've been through so many things, you know, with the transplants and all the surgeries and all the different tests that they do. None of that stuff really bothers me. Um, but a couple years ago, I had an MRI and this is when I gained, you know, some weight and I was in the MRI machine and I barely fit in that thing. And <laughs> it was a horrible experience. And when you do an MRI on your heart, it's long. It takes, you know, it was like 45 minutes or something like that. And I think I lasted like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes in there. And I was like, dude, just get me out. I can't, I can't do it. Ever since then, I've been more claustrophobic or I get anxiety when I go into, um, into machines like that. Anything that, that traps you. Um, and it's funny because I don't mind, I mean, I, I, I do mind, but I don't mind them enough where I get anxiety when I do um, like surgeries or I have, a, um, what do you call it? Uh, like today I had to get an IV and they don't bother me at all. Like, you know, I mean, I don't like being poked like that, but you know, they are what they are and it doesn't matter to me. Um, so, you know, I, I couldn't do it. You know, I, I was there for, um, for, we started it and I had to make them stop, catch, you know, sit up, catch my breath and, and, and then we tried it again and then I had to make them stop. And then in my head, I'm, I don't know why it bothers me so much, but in my head, I'm just like, all right, if I, if I last 15, if I last five minutes, I'm gonna have to still be another 10 minutes and then we, we stopped the test for a while. They gave me some more medication, I think to like race your heart or something. And then you go back and you have to do it for another like 15, 20 minutes. It's just, I don't know, horrible. <laughs> um, so we, we weren't able to do the test. You know, I feel, I get real bad, mad at myself and and I'm like, oh, like, why can't I do it? You know, I, I feel like a, <laughs> like a pussy for not being able to, like, do the damn test. 
you know, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I think the older we get the you know, you, you change the way, you know, the way you feel and, and like that anxiety really like gets to me, but it doesn't happen. Like I was, you know, it, it's, it's so strange. Like I wasn't even worried. I wasn't really worried when I heard I had cancer, you know, I wasn't, I, I'm not worried when I hear I have to go to surgery. You know, I, I have confidence. I just don't like being in those tight quarters. Um, I don't know if anybody else has that same experiences. Um, the, the nurses today were telling me like, oh, you know, it happens more than you think. Um, but it, it really frustrates me. I kind of get mad about it. You know, so after I left, I was, um, after I left the hospital, I was uh, just ir- irritated with myself. I went to go visit um, one of my aunts. And we just talked for a while, kind of told her what happened, and then we we're just talking about other things. Um, does anybody else, you know, have those, get those, uh, I know everybody's different when you have to go to the doctors. Some people just don't even like going to hospitals. Um, if you have those experiences, you know, let me know, post a comment, um, and I'll respond, you know, uh, you know, see, see if we can relate. The more people, it's always you feel better when other people can relate to, you know, the situations. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's funny because I, you know, I got sick as a kid. I always went to the doctors more and, and I, uh, I've always had a lot of tests done, like on my heart, different things. And so for this, it, it's so, to start getting like in my older age, you know to start like not being able to do some tests it it really frustrates me anybody else have those experiences you know let me know um what else did i want to talk about today um i think it's been so long i I didn't have the beard last time i did a video (laughs) uh let's see um Yeah, so a couple, oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was I'm working on, um, I'm working on a couple of things right now with my, with my business where I'm going to start branching out more, you know, I'm doing the, the YouTube videos to share my story and, you know, I've been getting a lot of good feedback from people who, you know, tell me that, just give positive feedback, you know, and I, and I thank everybody for that, um, you know, but right now I'm working on my, I'm still off work. I'm probably going to go back soon, but we, you know, the doctors and everything, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm working on a, on a challenge, a challenge, like a, I don't know if it's a challenge or like, you know, a little five day course <clears throat> that it's going to help clarify, you know, what you want and wh- where, where your goals are that you're, you're trying to get to, um, you know, so it's going to be, let's see, um, I just got off the phone with my, uh, with my, my accountability coach. Yeah. So I'm working on, you know, it's like a breakthrough course, um, challenge, but it's going to be a five day. I, I, I narrowed that around some of the things I'm, I'm almost done narrowing it down where I'm going to start, um, I'm going to really start promoting it in the next couple days. Um, but it's, it's a five day course that we're going to be going over, um, building some habits. The course is to really get people, get anybody who's in it to, to start setting habits, some positive habits, you know, for, and I mean, five days, I know five days is not going to set a habit, but it's, it's also to, to get you on that mindset because I, I think everything has to do with mindset and it, start training your brain into what you want to do and you know if you start if you just do five days with anything you're going to see like am i really willing to go keep going with this further you know and uh we're gonna during in the course we're gonna really find out what what you're passionate about and what you want to focus on as a secondary business that could become your first everybody's different like for me I'm not trying to quit my job you know uh, I have 
amazing be- medical benefits. Like it would take a lot for me to like just get up and walk away from my job. Um, I'm, that's not something I'm going towards, but I do want <clears throat> a second form of income with something that I'm truly passionate about. You know, so you know that's something that that will be in the course where where you find your passion, where you find you know what you're doing this for, and and how's this going. Um, and and if you're really ready for a life change, you know, I, I think uh, it, it's like a quick immersion thing. Every day we'll be going live in the Facebook group. Um, if anybody's interested and wants to hear more about it. Uh, just tag challenge hashtag challenge in the group and i will direct message you um but i'm going to be talking about this more we're going to start it the first week of october and you know so just that's just a quick little intro to it um if anybody's on that has any questions you, you know please let me know or wants to say anything you know please do uh, if not, you know, we'll get off, you know, make it short and sweet today. Um, all right. All right. Have a good day. I don't see any questions. Uh, Ramon and Arlie are on. Thank you. All right. Let me get off.